we, the three of us, lived together uh, after moving out of the dormitory and um, lived with this other guy named, well, we won't tell you his name. We'll just um, tell you that his last name was Dan Foote. Um, and uh, I think it was like the last, wasn't it finals week? It's like the Friday of finals week. Mm -hmm. um, and it was you, right, who needed some Advil. I don't think so. I thought it was you, Joe. You needed aspirin. You asked yeah, aspirin. Yeah, you were the one with it. Oh, yes, that's right. I had a headache. I, I don't remember this very well because it was all kind of cloudy in my head. So I, I, had, I had a headache. And you were the one, though, who was aware of the large bottle of Advil in his dresser. Yeah. Do you have any idea why you knew of this? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. I guess I'm telling this story. Uh, and, and so I asked him for some Advil, and he said he didn't have any. <laughs> And I knew he had some. We we all knew he had some. And so soon thereafter, uh, I believe Phil was the one, or I keep blaming him for something. Why, why do you involve me in this? Yeah, well. It's the way I remember it, it was strictly a private matter between the two of you. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Was so, I involved? I think you were involved. likely that you would be. I know you were involved you're in the argument. Harassing Dan generally. <laughs> so no, if you could find any excuse to harass me, you were harassing. personally involved. Well, you were harassing Dan. What about the peanut butter? Come on. <laughs> you remember the peanut butter, don't you? I remember you stole some of his peanut butter. Mm hmm. And he got very upset about that. And do you remember where he started keeping it? He yeah. started hoarding his food under his bed. Yes. Yeah. 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 And understand, by the way, that this guy was an avowed communist. He also wouldn't share the side of his penis. He would, he was oh, that's true. Person that's who right. Yeah. His dick. He was a Sandinista. Yeah. Oh, that's he right. He go down yeah. to Nicaragua. Yeah. And, yeah. But generally, he wasn't too into the whole sort of ethos of communal collegiate living. communal living, yeah. where yeah. basically you steal other people's stuff whenever <laughs> you have an open opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Especially if it's edible. Yeah. But the thing I do remember is every time he had sex with his girlfriend, you could hear her crying, sobbing. Really? Yeah. Wow. After sex. Well, there was one girlfriend in particular, right? It wasn't all. Yeah, she was kind of psychotic, wasn't she? Yeah. But I remember, yeah. you'd hear him going at it, and then right afterwards, she'd be sobbing. Yeah. Wow. Loudly. You could hear yeah. I figured it was because he wouldn't show her his dick either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He uh, he did have didn't he like take a bus to Nicaragua or yeah, something? Yeah, they yeah. drove a bus. Down. Yeah, they drove take a, a school bus or something full of school supplies. A yes. School bus full yeah. of school supplies. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then so the last week of classes, I needed some Advil because I had a crushing headache, and he wouldn't give me a couple of Advil even though he had one of those like big, you know, Costco Sam's Club sized bottles you in know, his drawer. I've got to know why he never showed us his dick. Because he claimed to have, he claimed freshman year he had sex with like 60 different women. He probably had some kind of horrible venereal disease. <laughs> That's why he never showed it to us. Yeah. It was probably exactly. covered with, with gangrenous sores. <laughs> well, I thought that I was, that this was more a story that involves these guys, but at least they're here to back me up when I say that, yes, I had a roommate who was a communist who wouldn't share. And that's just not good. <laughs> yeah.